Who is Vitinia? Where does he play? Why have PSG signed him? Well, let's find out. Let's keep all them intro, this is football people, blah 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 and get right into the business. Vitinha has just signed for Paris Saint-Germain for £40 million. But how did he get here, saying he'll be playing for the All Giants next season? Let's run it back. It all started from his hometown, Santo Terzo. A young boy started playing football at Povia de Lanjoso back in 2007. Luck was on his side as he joined the youth ranks of Porto two years later. I bet you didn't know his full name was Vito Machado Ferreira, but for this video, let's just call him Vitinha. Now, his rise to prominence wasn't an easy one. Vitinha initially started playing for Porto's reserve team and he was also part of the squad that won the 18-19 Youth League with Porto. Everything changed on the 28th of January 2020 when Vitinha made his first appearance for the first team, coming on as a substitute for Wilson Manafa in the 61st minute in a match against Gil Vicente. Vitinha impressed during his time on the reserve and was gifted a spot in the first team, making a total of 8 appearances as Porto went on to win the league title. The following season, he was loaned to Premier League side over Hampton Wanderers and it turned out to be a disappointing experience, making just 5 starts out of his 19 appearances and failing to establish himself under Nuno Espirito Santo. But in the bigger picture, the World Wolves team struggled that season as they finished at 13th place, a downgrade to their 7th place finish the previous season. As expected at the end of the season, Wolves declined to exercise the buy option in his contract and it was back to FC Porto. Vitinha began the 21-22 season on the bench, frustrating for him. However, his impressive performances during the under-21 European Championship earned him a spot in the first team. He began pushing more and more to become a starter in the squad. He scored his first goal for the club in a 3-0 away win against Portimonense on the 3rd of December. After Sergio Oliveira departed to Roma in January 2022, this was his glorious chance to take his place in the first team. He became a starter in the squad, impressing the manager in the process. He would go on to make 47 appearances and help Porto win the domestic double of the Premier Liga and the Taka de Portugal. Featuring largely alongside Matteo Surube in a 4-4-2 setup, Vitinha was a driving force from deep for the Portuguese domestic champions, with only three players playing more minutes than him in last season's campaign. A decent rise to the top for someone who couldn't get into the team previously. Vitinha is one of those players who do not create a large number of assists but are hugely involved in chance creation. He's an expert at what do we call it? Um, yeah, pre assisting. These kind of players may not have the best of statistics, but when you watch them, you just know. You just know they are class. He's a creative midfielder that likes to exploit our spaces in the opposition's defense. He is ranked as the 14th best player on the expected threats metric. The expected threats metric measures how much of an offensive threat a player is from different parts of a football pitch and is a more accurate representation of a player's attacking contributions. However, his ranking in this expected threat improves to fourth when only counting midfielders. Vitinha has played at the under-19 and under-21 levels for Portugal. He was named captain for the under-19 squad at the European Under-19 Championship in Armenia and also was named for the team of the tournament as Portugal finished runners-up after losing in the final 1-0 to Germany. On the 21st of March 2022, Vitinha received his first call-up to the senior squad for the 2022 World Cup qualification playoffs as a replacement for the injured Ruben Neves. Eight days later at his club ground, he made his senior national team debut, replacing João Moutinho in other time in a 2-0 victory over North Macedonia in the playoff final. Now, let's go on to highlight some of his strengths then. Dribbling Though predominantly a centre midfielder, he can also operate in a more advanced role and just in front of the defence. Known for his ability on the ball, Vitinha boosts one of the highest dribble success rates in Europe and is also a passer of some capability. In his 30 games for Porto last season, Vitinha attempted 622 final third passes, managing to complete 522 of them, an impressive completion rate of 83%. Vitinha returned the dribble success rate of 72.7% in Portugal's top tier last term. No player managed better of the 59 players to attempt 50 or more dribbles. In addition, only Julian Weh managed more passes per game than Vitinha of all central midfielders in the Premier League. 
while a 90.3 pass success rate ranked 8 in the division. Another one of his strengths which is underrated by the way is his ball winning ability. The Portuguese international is more than capable of winning the ball for his side if required. This was really important for a Porto side that played with only two central midfielders for the bulk of last season as only two players won possession in the midfield third more times than Vitinha in the Premier League. So, he is able to rob opponents of possession before setting up field on his own or shifting the ball onto another teammate to aid the attack. According to Statsbomb, the midfielder averages 3.4 tackles and 2.5 interceptions per 90. These are impressive numbers for a central midfielder. Vitinha put on some good displays acting as the pass master for his team in the middle of the park. He completed more passes in the final third of the pitch than any other player in the 21-22 league season. Porto's title winning squad has gradually been picked apart by European giants, with Luis Diaz moving to Liverpool, Fabio Vieira to Arsenal and now Vitinha to PSG. Having missed out on Aurelian Chouameni who snubbed the Parisian club to join Real Madrid, PSG will be hoping Vitinha steps up and becomes the player he promises to be. Yes, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it so far, please slap the like button, subscribe, notifications on and have a wonderful day. Enjoy yourselves and goodbye.